Hey, welcome folks to the Conscious Truth Seeker channel. God, I'm getting fat. Ten rounds are just too much, man. I'm getting fat. Um, man, I, uh, I figured I'm driving through this horrific snowstorm. Let me give you guys a, a look at how terrible. This is like driving through Alaska. This is like ice road trucker shit. This is the road I'm driving down right now to go to an appointment. If I uh, if I didn't go today, I would just have to go tomorrow anyways. So I'm just going for it. It's terrible driving. It's awful. Um, I tried to reschedule, but I would have to go to give them. A, I gotta give a year in sample, so might as well just go. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys. Um, maybe I'll put it in the title: mental health and. and mental illness, you know, I dealt with it from a first person perspective, um, when I was younger, I was born into a broken family, and, um, basically that was, that basically put me in the position to just be gaslit by my, my older siblings and everything, I was the last one, accident child, and then everyone's like, oh, wow, you know, like, you're in for it, the, you know, oh, dad left, like, right around when you were born and shit, like, type stuff, and it was horrible, you know, it was like, tore me up, I hated my parents, I hated my dad, I hated my mom, you know, and, and also I loved my dad and I loved my mom, and their ignorance and their hard-headedness they were like the same fucking people, you know, and they told me about how much they were in love and all this shit, and it, it, that, that even pissed me off even more, like, because they just totally fucking, that was it, you know, and barely ever talked or anything, I guess my dad was cheating and shit, you know, whatever, going through these manic episodes or something, manic depressive, and, um, so I got gaslit into that shit. And then I had all kinds of fucking problems when I was young, you know. I wanted to just have happiness and I wanted to just enjoy life. I just wanted to feel that security. It makes me emotional talking about it. I'm trying not to get emotional. I just want to be logical here. It, 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 it fucking hurt so bad, man. I made so many mistakes being over-sexualized and being promiscuous and... Picking the hurting people that that I could relate to, thinking that they would be something like could understand, you know, like just and it just drags you down and drags you down. You end up with these people that maybe you're not as sick as them, you know. And like my sickness was, I I you know I was trying to have it have something that I I didn't work for yet. You know, I wanted a, a marriage and a happy relationship, and I wanted one that would last forever in spite of my mother and father in spite of my mother and father I wanted a healthy beautiful marriage maybe a kid or something whatever you know I wasn't picky I just wanted you know I decided that if I was going to be with a woman that I would treat them basically like you know I would be for the long haul, the real deal, and I would treat them as my wife, and refer to them as my wife, and like, you know, that's kind of like how I am, the kind of person I am. So I've been disappointed a few times, and dragged through the mud, and horrible things, and, um, by others, and by me, um, women that gave up on me the last minute and let me down and hurt me and put me in a situation where I knew I would have to either get stuck in a repetitive shit storm of that over and over again or I had to get the fuck out and I did the right thing and got the fuck out you know and I had to get myself better again I was went through a lot of depression as my my family continued to dwindle and my mom my dad died out of nowhere, and then my mom started getting sick, and then she died, um, and that's right about when I went through the worst part, you know, um, a lot of loss, I lost, uh, I built a great successful business, it's going to be making a little over a quarter of a million a year, I, um, I lost that, um, 
due to bad decision making, having a relationship with like an employee. No, you know, not even, it's just ridiculousness, right? But the whole point of this is that like I never knew the selfishness and the pain behind it all and, and also how simple it is to fix like it all comes down to that switch in your mind of yes or no okay that's our free will we either don't get away out you're not allowed or we're gonna invite something in and allow the energy in and, and, and allow it to move us so I've been with this girl for like five or six years and I loved her so much. It's actually like a crazy story of like prayers being answered and like manifesting. Because like I literally met this girl. I bumped into her. I've known her since junior high. And I bumped into her in the midst of my troubles at around 27. And um, right before she really sealed her shitstorm deal and had our kids and stuff. Uh, and we met each other and like linked up to just buy drugs or something from each other or some shit. She was getting me something. And um, so she's she has all these kids with this guy after she came out of a re, you know a program and rehabilitated herself. Um, so she just throws it all away. It's basically a relapse. Like, gets right into a relationship and has all these kids with this guy. It's the worst decision ever. Then the guy died and she's left with these poor kids. And then I come along and I'm like, I've thought everything, you know, and I've been through this before. This is where I know, like, the telltale signs of somebody who doesn't have a license or a car. Like, if, if you offer to help them achieve that or fix that and they don't, stay away they're fucking broken they will you know and this all comes from not admitting that they're at fault or they're making bad decisions and shit and they don't when you tell them like hey you know it's like real terrible what's happened blah, blah, blah. but if you tell them in the right honest way that hey it's you know this is your you created this if you just I can tell you what we can do to help fix it they're like ah, fuck you yeah, and then they get all defensive and shit, and they're like, they think you're attacking them. But other people aren't uh, uh, as spiritually in depth as us. They don't know that we have like we can see that beautiful soul that's at the center, and like it's all intentions are good and everything's beautiful. That love in the center, and all the deviant shit. Like everyone has a soul, but we have that free will of accepting outside energies in and out and negative energies and she's just been so fucking negative unbelievably negative and then she tells me I'm abusive and I'm like listen I've been telling you how badly you're fucking things up and for five years I've been begging you to get a license and shit to, not for me but it's for she doesn't understand this though like it's for you to feel empowered and little less trapped and in control and it's deeper than that with her though she's like help me show me teach me and it's like she doesn't understand that that's YouTube dude like somebody tell somebody on the street that shit and they're gonna go yeah it's called YouTube it's called YouTube um she thinks that somebody helping or showing is coming and, and gonna do the shit for her and there, she's got fucking social workers and all this shit involved with her kids because they're special ed or whatever and she doesn't understand that I don't think that's what it is you know it's her mental illness like I'm starting to see that she's like severely mentally ill and she's picking these fights with me over these things right and telling me I'm the abuser because I'm getting all upset and frustrated and fucking telling her like this is what a stupid asshole piece of shit does you need to fix this or that's what you're going to become like you know like we're 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 fucking we're made we're, we got people out there in our society demonizing these words and shit but you need to be able to tell somebody that they're fucking in danger of becoming a stupid piece of shit and being broken and trapped and fucking, you know, like, 
I came so close and the pain I went through, I was all alone and my mom had just passed and I was fucking, couldn't, I had no money saved because I just saved it all and, and spent it on this place and then the girl left me and all kinds of shit because of her problems, you know, like, I went through fucking hell and then I came here homeless and now I got, I got three thousand dollars in a mutual fund i got fucking like 10 grand in the bank be and this is all because of i have that because of how badly the world I, i'm let down by the world and like my relationships and i'm getting to a horrible point to where i've been let down by women so much and shit like that i really do i have this like disdain and, and anger and and, and just um, what's the word, like, uh, yeah, I'm just, I just, I'm getting, and I feel it coming on, like, I don't want to be a lonely hermit, I enjoy, I, I'm almost mentally ill with, I can't be alone, I need to have I need to live with somebody. I got to be with people. I can't live by myself on my own. I'll, leave, I'll completely lose my mind and go off the rails, dude. So, uh, it's so bad. It's a bad codependency thing, you know. Like, I'm, I'm starting to realize that I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to come to terms with being, like, alone and secure on my own and I know it's going to be a good thing and everything probably great will happen as soon as this happens but I, I the part part of me my my mom and dad separating had a big impact on me and like I vowed I would never give up you know so I've got this I will not give up like she has to make me leave and then I will go and pull the trigger and fucking... But I'm not going to go, dude. Like, I didn't want anybody... Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get emotional. I didn't want anybody to give up on me. I'm a good person. I work hard. I get talent. I play music. I cook. I'm artistic. I really feel like I'm a beautiful person. And I really feel like other people are beautiful people. And we need to have, We need to be there. We're being torn apart from each other. Especially with all this shit going on. So my girlfriend doesn't understand that this depression and shit setting in is from all this shit. You know, and she wants to fight with me about shit. And she wants to give up and go leave and all this shit now. And she does this from time to time anyway. So it's like, I'm like, babe, everyone goes through this shit, you know relationships aren't just oh we're in love we're gonna have babies like that's stupid lustful dumb shit what you did having these four kids and this guy's dead now and gone like look how badly this fucked up now dude he moved her three hours away from her family we're from boston massachusetts north of boston like seven miles in Lynn. we're way the fuck out in the berkshires almost three hours away because this bonehead moved her out here and they have no license or nothing they're like Boston city people, like New York people that don't have a car, don't have a license. And they moved out into the mountains where everything's far away and all this shit. So, but when I tell her those things or have those, try to have a discussion about those things, she automatically reverts to the easiest thing to do is like everybody does that's mentally ill is they get defensive and uh and it's not about you, it's about the sickness that we see seeping into you, that these bad decisions, the point of this video is these bad decisions, and these things we settle for, are, are, will slowly fucking seep into you, like a fucking deadly disease, and it's hard to, the only way you can fix it, is to flip that switch and realize that you, are not wrong for feeling the hurt and the stuff you feel, but you aren't right either. Like, you need to understand that it hurts, but it's not because they're attacking you. It hurts because you need to take a look at why it hurts.
and the mistakes you made that put you there and try to move forward and fix it. And that means letting go of the fear. The guilt and the fear is what does continue us on in this. Like like Jeffrey Doherty says, the fear and control matrix. The guilt, fear, fear, guilt, and con- fear, guilt, control matrix. Blood cult, friggin', you know. Oh my God, like. And I went to Catholic school and all this stuff. Like my life has been very unique, with the ability to see these these dysfunctions and this mental illness, this disease that this. this it's like a demonic disease. It is. It really is. It, this is demonic. Is de harma. It's out of harmony. She is unbelievably falling into this demonic trap, and I can't get her out because she can't just release that pain and energy and, and say, "I know I fucked up. I shouldn't. You know, what, what can I do? Where?" You'll help me get a license, okay? Let's come up with a plan. How I'm gonna? No, there's no plan. Just she's never gonna do it. Got her to try to buy a car once, but that didn't work out. We were going through. I was still developing. We're still going through hard stuff, so I had to let that go too. You know, like I really just really had to pull my shit together. And I, I what really set me on the right path was when she had to go. In, I had to let her go in the hospital, and the kids got taken and all the shit. And she got healthy, but then the kids came back and all this Rona shit, and now they're not even in school, and it's like, it's fucking back to misery again. All, you know, she's got all the kids at home that's yelling and screaming and bitching, trying to get these kids to do what they're supposed to do with school every day, and it's just constant for her. There's nothing I can do unless I just be a slave and drive them around shit like I what the real answer the real answer to the equation to solve the problem is not getting done she's getting some kind of su- she wants that substitute help me show me teach me teach me take me drive me help me and it's completely ruining her life well, she tells and then she gets in these uh, arguments with me about how, you know, go wherever, I don't even love you anymore, that and all this shit. Then it's like, and then she'll tell me, I'm going to get my license and fucking you leave. When you leave, I'm going to go get the thing. That's not the point, asshole. The point of you getting it is to do it when you need it now, not at, you get that shit at the end, it's like, you're going to wait you know, she just admit one thing after another with this one dude. The 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 uh, section A, we were gonna get a place. I don't know about that shit. I'm not a government. I don't need help. You know, I'm out here trying to make it in the world. She had section eight. Come to find out, you can actually use that to even pay for a mortgage and buy a house, dude. This moron let that go, and now we're stuck in a shithole hood with nobody around in the Berkshires with all the biggest. I mean, these people are just unbelievable. They're good. They have a good heart, dude, but they are the biggest fucking losers. They don't do shit. They won't do shit. There's no fucking hope for them. There's no hope out here. The best thing they can hope for is a fucking bagging job at Stop and Shop or sandwich fold, sandwich making at Subway. Like, that's how bad it is. There's really nothing out here. There is one decent job at, like, some concrete plant that people can get, but it's fucking, you gotta drive and shit. Like, you can't be a sorry piece of shit and work out there. How are you gonna get to and from, you know? But this is what I've been dealing with, and it's fucking tearing me apart because I've been working five years to build my life, and I'm saving all this money, and I'm gonna make sure that a woman letting me down doesn't fucking fuck everything up for me again. I'm tired of that shit. But it, it sickens me and saddens me because I know how easy it is and how much progress you can make if two people come together and build, like man and woman can come together and build such a beautiful life and a world around them. And 
she's not allowing me to do that. She's just stuck in this complacent little bubble of a shitstorm she's dealing with. And all she knows how to do is just be motherly, nurture, nurture, nurture. And it's taking all her energy and destroying her. And everything's getting dysfunctional. And fighting with me in front of the kids. And of course, her daughter's going to go, yeah. I agree. You know, like, she's surrounded with everybody. Like, I'm like, babe, you, your daughter's 10. She doesn't know shit. She's going to tell you, yeah, she, she she agrees or something. Even during, the, she goes, oh, yeah, yeah, he's lazy. She had to correct him and her and go, he's not lazy. He works all the time. He's a great worker. And then she'll, oh, that's the only thing. You, get. you know, dude, like, no. It's, yeah, it's. I got great worth ethic because I'm not a loser and I'm not going to lay down and die. Like, I'm trying to show you how working can get you somewhere in life. I don't know, but she had to correct the kid and tell her, no, he's not lazy because she was like, yeah, you're lazy. <laughs> she's trying to come up with something detrimental to say to, to back her mom up and, and while she's fighting with me. Yeah. And I'm like, See, don't you understand? You're just hearing what you want to hear, and people are doing that shit to you. Even, even her mother and her family. She tells them shit, and it's like you're. I'm like, babe, you're fucking 38. You don't call your mommy. Your mom just lost her husband. She don't need to hear your stupid shit, and she probably would be the best thing in the world. She just told you that. Like, listen, you're, you, your fucking shit ain't that important. I just lost my husband. Why don't, her mother needs to tell her to grow the fuck up. Get a fucking license. Stop being a loser piece of shit. The guy's been helping you, trying to help you for five years. What's your fucking excuse? You don't like the way he's helping you? Beggars can't be choosers. But this is the shit I'm fucking dealing with feeling in my heart and my mind and every time I get a pie try to I gotta tell her all this logical shit that she don't want to hear that she gets defensive and argues about it's so unhealthy I don't want to have a part in it but I know I'm not stupid and the world's fucked up and I don't want I, I'm not the type I'm not gonna go spend thousands of dollars to go live somewhere I'm gonna rent a room I've been I've been trying to build a nice place here with them, you know, and like, I got some Xboxes and shit so the kids can play, computers, set up a room with computer, and, 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 um, I've been growing plants, medicinal and vegetables and stuff, I got a tent in the house, I've been working on all these things, I've been growing plants, I've been building infrastructure, I've been collecting all these tools and shit, like, not over, overboard, not nothing stupid or silly, just like I've been saving a lot of money, and I got some money stashed, so I like to buy things I need, because, and things that I know that I'll value and need, um, I even got her a storage unit to, to be able to, and then she's talking about I don't pay bills and I'm paying all these extras and she doesn't realize that that's like half the bills. Cause she's in we're in housing and she only pays like three hundred and eighty dollars for rent and electricity and that's it. So it's like five, six hundred bucks a month for us to live in this apartment. And because I don't specifically give her half of that rent money that I'm paying for all the infrastructure and the shit, she's she just doesn't, she doesn't understand money and stuff either, like, she just throws money away and shops and buys all this food and she thinks like the, oh, the officers, the social workers, sees the food, I'm a good mommy. Like, no, you're not, like, good mommy would be giving them what they need and nothing else and saving the fucking money for a home. So these kids have a home to fucking come back to when you're, when they're older, like, She's going to have nothing, and she's only got, like, another 10 years left to do this. But I knew these situations. I knew she had income and stuff, so I said, wow, okay, so she's got the kids. She's got some income to help provide, like, and a decent amount because she's got four kids. So it's like, it was like, wow, I can show this girl how to take that and, and make a beautiful and have a home and a house, and she's going to have equity, and she'll have, she'll fucking have a hundred grand in a home. By the time I'm through with her, we'll get her driving, blah, 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 all this stuff. Like, this is what I, and then I go, ah, 
I've been through this before, though. If she's got problems with driving and shit, then there's gonna, there could be big problems. You know, people like that have, usually have serious fucking problems. You're 16, you learn how to drive because when you're an adult, you need that freedom and to look like, it's one of the most important things you do in your life. Um, she can't use a computer or any of that shit. By the time all this is over and said and done, she's going to have no skills, no license, and then no no, no wonderful husband to love her, and then she's just going to be with some, whoever will let her, whoever she'll let throw the hot dog down the hallway. I don't know what she's like. She's not, um, she thinks that she's just going to get rid of me and everything's going to be fucking awesome and shit, but she doesn't realize it's, it's me showing her that the right things to do to fix and challenging her and trying to be healthy. She just, she's, it's the ignorance that gets down to it, guys. It's, it's the ignorance in our mind and the hard-headedness for us to, like, not make the change, not click the on button, the off button, the on, not to, to understand that we've made some mistakes and we need to do a couple steps from some outside source telling us how, like, you gotta give to get. And some people will just stay real ignorant for a while. I was ignorant, but I always had the ability to make success happen when I wanted to, so it kind of, like, I could enable myself by doing pulling off like I would start these small little companies and shit like a handyman service whatever da, da, da. and I would land all these jobs go through I'd flyer the golf course communities and shit I knew how to hustle to make something happen and uh, unfortunately all my emotional pain and shit that I was going through and the confusion and the gaslit shit that my family brought me up in of this broken family set me off on this fucked up thing and everything's so much better now in my life but now I'm seeing somebody else be mentally ill now I'm seeing somebody else suffer from that same horrible mental illness that there's no way out unless you open yourself up and stop getting defensive stop having oh well it's because I don't drive because it you know like that's the mentality these people have they're like oh well it's because and here's my excuse to justify it and that's not what we're we understand and that that's cool yeah but it's still it ain't doesn't justify you not doing it now okay like, when somebody says these excuses, you got to say, okay, so um, that was great, you know, for why you're here. So what's going to be the excuse now that we've dealt with all that and we can move forward that you just don't want to and you want to keep making excuses? Like, see what I mean? They, they just don't. They won't do it. They ain't going to fucking hear that. They're going to go, no, you're fucking always fighting that. They're gonna, and then they're going to divert. This is this demonic, sick mental illness. Like, and I'm dealing with this shit and watching someone flush themselves down the fucking toilet almost, literally. Like, she's just so fucking, she's just withering away, looks like shit. She went from beautiful, healthy again to fucking withering away, garbage, confused, miserable, angry, angry, miserable, stubborn bitch of a woman she's turning into. And she's sweet like an angel. She is like a beautiful fucking angel. So fucking beautiful with her long, beautiful blonde hair. And she literally was like a picture of an angel. I loved her so I fell in love with her as a child when we were young in school. And like I never forgot about her. And nobody, everybody knew who she was. But she was always... I think she's a little bit special, like she was sick when she was born, and maybe I was too, so maybe it was hard for us to develop and grow, and we get off to a late start, you know, but she's still stuck there, she went through this, pro this, uh, this, this, um, program called Project Cope and I told her it's we should fucking rename it Project Dope because like you came out of there and got pregnant four times with some guy 16 years older than you and now you're three hours away with no license and he's dead and I'm an asshole because I'm trying to help you like <laughs> Project Dope man I'm like 
I don't know what to say, dude. I don't know what to do. She, you know, she doesn't understand that. You come out of a program and you're all good and then you just get fucking knocked up four times from some guy, the first guy you get. Like, that's a relapse. She's been broken and relapsed, dude. And she doesn't understand it because it's not drugs, you know? She doesn't understand, like, the behavioral patterns and shit. I don't know. So I'm big into this shit. I, I'm fascinated with it. Because looking into all this consciousness and, and, and spiritual stuff, it saved my life. And it, and it healed me from a demonic presence that was, like, hanging over me, you know? Like, I really feel new. I feel healthy. I feel happy. I feel better. But I'm just I'm being dragged down a little bit by watching someone else go through it. And I honestly can't give up until she kicks me the fuck out. That's when I'm going to have to really go and then I'll come back and get my shit or whatever occasionally or whatever but and then by then it'll be okay and she'll she'll be like uh come on see it's like she's not committed she not she'll just fight and kick me out and ruin everything and then I'll have to spend thousands on some shithole I don't need and then I'll end up back there or something like this is what I'm saying you can't you got to be careful with people that are mentally ill man and what what they they, they don't care they're feeling they're just making decisions based upon their pain and their agony and their stress and this pressure and it's all about being selfish and I just want to feel good now I can do whatever the fuck cope you know it's it's a fuck it the switch is I care I'm going to fix this and then there's the fuck it that's that's when you when you change for the bad you I care, I'm going to fix this shit, I'm going to admit it, I'm flawed, I'm fucked up, something's going on here, I'm making mistakes, let me get some outside opinions, and then there's the fuck it, everything's fucked, I'm going to do what feels good and whatever, I don't care if it's fucking killing me or whatever, I'm going to have fun, party, blah, 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 like this, that's the two options. We start off somewhat pretty sturdy in the middle as a child, you know, and we're nice and sweet, and then either somebody makes fun of you and pisses you off, and, or it's struggle and strife, a combination of both, and then you get the, that's what happened to me, you know. oh, oh, I understand, I have to be a fucking condescending little fucking witty little asshole twerp motherfucking dickhead to you, or outdo you guys, that way I don't get hurt being all sweet and that like you know like when you're a kid you first get witty and kids are fucking with you and you learn that you have to keep up with the asshole <laughs> to like you know some of us are very proficient in doing things so we become like unbelievably great assholes and unbelievably sweet like I'm a pretty I got pretty big swings of I can be a vicious fucking asshole son of a bitch and I can be the sweetest, loving, most loyal person you'll ever meet. Um, I wish she would come around and get healthy. And uh, I just... People need to be open with their stuff. And we need to figure out ways to help these people. And we need communities and groups and things. And... Uh, I just don't know, man, what to do. I'm waiting for my appointment. I'm about to go in soon. I'm going to shut this video down. I didn't want to babble on forever about all this shit, but I understand the struggles in life, and we all need to get together and share some stories and understandings so we can develop and grow and together. Um, if anybody's going through some stressful stuff, some stressful relationships, or has been through in the past and want to share with me. Um, it's hard because of the, the duty we have to each other. Like, see, I don't want to give up for her, but the best decision for me, honestly, is to get the fuck out. I have opportunities to go down to North Carolina and open a restaurant with a friend. That's a multi-restaurant owning successful millionaire that drives a Maserati. Like, he just had a baby, settled down. He's doing good things, and he he's a friend of mine, and he wants to. i told me I'm welcome anytime, whenever, man, and told me to come down there, 
but I couldn't because I got all this stuff going on. I told them, you know, and I'm like, it's it's hard, man, because I got a lot of opportunity. And I'm only getting older, and that shit ain't gonna happen too often again for me. So I gotta make, you know, I'm kind. I wish she would just pull the trigger and stop dragging me through the mud or or do something because I gotta figure this out. I can't keep. It's like a rock tumbling in the riverbed. That's how what she's doing to us. And I want to fucking firmly plant and gather and make an island, you know, and protect and have a place to settle in and build an island instead of just being a pebble rolling through the riverbed, you know, beat up. Um, I'm getting polished up, though, like that. Um... All right, guys, let me know what you think about my ridiculous babblings. And uh, if you've had any experiences that are similar, let me know. Hit me up in the comments. i got to get ready for this appointment. Peace out.